Good evening, everyone. This is the 8 o'clock hour of the Diana Wright Show, and we welcome you as we thank you so much for joining us. It's Thursday, and if it's Thursday at 8 o'clock, it's time for men to speak. So we welcome you, all the men from around the world and in the United States. This day was a big day of news. We see that Putin, the uh, Russian president, is getting divorced. Everybody's saying he might be having an affair. Everybody's saying, no, 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 no. They've been, you know, kind of separated all this time when there were gossip and whatever. Nobody ever, ever knows because Putin says his private life is off limits and all that kind of stuff. Mr. Kirk, who didn't go to the White House with his team to celebrate the winning of the Super Bowl because he said President Obama kind of, you know, thanked um, Planned Parenthood and said, God bless Planned Parenthood and he is Catholic and he's against abortions and Planned Parenthood has, you know, performs 330,000 abortions every year and all that kind of stuff. And lots of things going on today. There's a young man who's a valedictorian in South Carolina or North Carolina, in Carolina. And, you know, he decided after he got his script approved by the, 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 the one of the, the, the bees. OK, the principal and all those people, he just went on the stage and changed his speech to the Lord's Prayer <laughs> in protest that the, the university decided not to use a prayer in the ceremony. So, hey, he just dumped his speech and did the Lord's Prayer instead. Lots of things going on. See, Mr. Christie has named the new uh, person, I should say, to fill a Mr. Lautenberg's seat in Washington while he was going into the Congress to be laid for people to see. Mr. Christie was putting someone in his seat who is actually Republican. <laughs> wow, lots of things were done today, including Tropical Storm Andrea in Florida that kind of wreaked havoc in Loxahatchee and some other neighborhoods in West Palm Beach. <laughs> lots of rain and never knew we could come on this evening. So lots of things going on. Anyway, um, it is the day that we talk and the evening that we discuss all the issues that affect men. So I'm going to just start off. If oh, Okay, Dax, you look perfect over there. So I'm just going to bring you and Vanya in. You look so perfect <laughs> and professional. <laughs> Okay. Hi there, Dax and Vanya. How are you? Hi, guys. Okay. I need to. I think I need to turn you up just a little bit. Go ahead. Hi. How are you? Well, I'm good, and I trust... I'm, I was surprised when I was checking on you this evening that you had nothing going on in Broward County? Well, for the last couple of days, we've been getting rain. Yes, but, uh, but today it was a tornado. They were actually saying that it might have changed to a Category 1 hurricane. So I'm surprised you didn't get any damage or anything down there. No. Okay, no. lucky you. Yeah, lucky, lucky you. Anyway, um, let's see where we're going to start this evening. I'm going to start off this evening by asking you if you know about the story about Michael Douglas and the Cunnilingus. Yes. Okay, so we're going to start there because as until he announced this, I didn't know that it was possible for someone to get throat cancer from cunnilingus. And the doctor, Dr. Simpson, that I had on on Tuesday, she said, yes, you can. And you can also get, remember last week we spoke about being allergic to sperm or something like that? <laughs> I, I think we had brought that up, maybe with her only I did. Yeah, with her. Yes. Um, we, she and I talked about the fact that some women are actually you know, allergic to their husband's sperm or their significant other's sperm. And now this week we heard this story and then she informs me, yes, both male and female can actually get cancer based on this, all of this stuff here from the other person if the other person has some kind of infection, yeast infection or whatever it is. So has that put a damper on men for the minute, you think? <laughs> Well, it's funny, um, and, 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 and 
maybe somebody listening may think this is absolutely crazy, uh-huh. but I remember having a conversation with a friend of mine right. a couple of years ago regarding um, prostate cancer. Mm-hmm. And one of the things that he he felt, his theory, mm-hmm. was that a, a lot of this has to do with bacteria and stuff that build up in the body. Mm-hmm. And, and again, I, I, I am just, this is my personal opinion. This is no, well, nothing we, I can... Yeah, but, and that's cool. That's fine. But I believe that in, in Michael Douglas's case, mm-hmm. what happens is it's a bacteria, mm-hmm. and bacteria in an acidic environment will flourish, right. and therefore it will develop the cancer. Mm. However, if you're aware of it, and you, 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 you allow your body to cleanse, and you give it the proper environment to clean it out, mm-hmm. I cancer will grow and that I so in my personal you know situation no it hasn't put a damp on it I, I <laughs> <laughs> okay Dax it hasn't put I hope it didn't but I'm you know I'm, I was just curious because I really didn't know because the, the, one of the things she stressed was that the mouth is the dirtiest part of our body in terms of carrying germs and bacteria so hence she can you know that was an easier way to explain it so for women who are doing the reverse with their guys then it's the same process and that was just a little shocking for me seriously right but but if if the mouth is the the dirtiest place Mm -hmm. that means the mouth is capable of managing all kind of bacteria right so for the bacteria that it picks up Mm -hmm. from the woman Mm-hmm. would be bacteria that the mouth can handle. Now, if the mouth is constantly in an acidic state, mm-hmm. the, the, the situation will develop into the sore throat and the, 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 the abscess and eventually the, the cancer. So I, I agree it's possible. Mm-hmm. I just believe the prevention is not to avoid it, but instead to create an environment where the body can manage it and don't get sick from it. Okay. Well, I, I, in a follow-up to that, because you spoke about uh, the cleaning up of the the body, I just wondered, um, has anyone said to you that getting the detox from your Rad Wellness program actually helped their sex life or affected it in any way? I just wanted to ask you that. A lot of people have, uh, well, no, most people have said it has improved, it improved significantly. Wow. Okay. So mm-hmm. why Dax don't talk about that? I've never, you, I, I just wrote it down to ask you, you know, because I thought about the fact that, okay, if you're going to get detox, then maybe it will help you or not help you sexually. Is that from is that from men or from women, um, Vanya? Both, both, both. Women. Um, it the the first thing is that you know a lot of times women won't share with their husbands and husbands won't either. Mm-hmm. But they're very conscious about about each other when they put on weight. Oh. Uh, women more than men. So they, I I always get clients to say that. You know, I have to tell him to turn the lights off because I don't want him to see me how I look. <laughs> you can't have any sex when you're like so conscious. And then, um, you know, men usually won't say directly, but they say it has totally improved my stamina, my desire, you know. Mm -hmm. Uh, We have had cases where people have actually gotten pregnant. I've had a 57-year-old lady get pregnant. Oh, my. Yeah. uh, Wow. Okay, that's I need another dose of the detox. (laughs) (laughs) I I mean, at least four cases. One of the clients was actually on active chemotherapy. Yes. You know. Um, there's no way you can get pregnant when you're going through chemo. Right. Um, and she was also told, she, her, she, her doctor gave her the clearance to start the cleanse while she was going through chemo, mm-hmm. and she got pregnant. My goodness. Wow. Wow. We That's should celebrate that. <laughs> That's <laughs> wonderful. Literally, the, the sex life people have said the, that very straight up that it improves. Wow. Okay. So, yay for the Rad Wellness 21-Day Detox. Well, you know, I, 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 I think I'm going for another round. <laughs> Maybe I'm a bad salesperson. Yes, I think so. <laughs> but but what 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 I want to help 
the viewers to understand is that it's not that the detox is causing that. Right. The detox is removing the things that were blocking ah. the and the ability to get pregnant. So, we, we, we it, at the end of the day, the detox made it happen. Mm -hmm. But I just want to be clear that the detox is not making people pregnant. The right, detox right. Is not improving the sex life. The detox is, is clearing the body to allow the pregnancy and improving the circulation mm. to sex drive and the, and, and the stamina as well as the the erectile problems as well as blood flow to the to the right areas. Okay. All right. That's great. Okay. I, I, I wanted to um, ask you this. If your significant other comes to you as a man or husband, significant other, whatever, boyfriend, and, and the person says Say me or Vanya say, we need to talk. What does that indicate to you? Is that something men just hate to hear? No, I don't think so. I mean, it's so, something serious. I need your, your, your undivided attention. Uh -huh. uh, listen up. This, this is not light. This is not, you know, thing there. I need you to listen to what I have to say. Okay, no, because a lot of men tell me that when their female come to say, I, we need to talk, it's either that they have something going on somewhere else, they want a divorce or something bad is going to happen. <laughs> so that's the reason I asked the question. Well, I, I, I don't know. I, I wouldn't expect something bad. I would just know that it's something that, that needs attention. And, and, you know, one of the things I feel in relationships is that there is this avoidance of communication and then it waits until it gets to that point. And, and in this work, Beyond the, the detox, I actually get the opportunity to talk to a lot of women mm -hmm. about their life, mm -hmm. and it, it inadvertently it leads to them sharing about their 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 significant other. Right. And in a lot of cases, they feel that they're not heard, that there 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 is no voice, that there no consideration for them. Mm -hmm. And you know, I I think it's sad, and I think it's something that is worth looking into not only from the male side mm -hmm. that females women need to be more willing to say what they have to say and then deal with the consequences meaning if, if your husband is going to leave you because you told him how you feel then maybe you need to get rid of him well i am with you on that because i truly believe that women need to find their voices not you're going to not do it in a disrespectful way but you need to find your voice, you know, and really say what's on your mind. A lot of women seem to be afraid to say anything because they think the person is going to go and find someone else. But I, I just think that's chickening out of the situation, okay? Plain chicken. Uh, All right, okay. Um, <clears throat> other questions that men hate to uh, encounter when a woman says... When are we going to finish when they're having sex? <laughs> Is that a real annoyance to a male? <laughs> well, I think in a lot of cases that would be a turn off because that, that, that would tell me you're not enjoying it, you're really tolerating it. So to me it would be, why, 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 why bother? <laughs> Just stop. Yeah. What do you say, Vanya? What do you say about that, Vanya? Because I'm serious. They actually showed a woman who looks, you know, when you're, like, um, having sex and someone, the, the female is just there kind of thing. And that's right. exactly how they showed the picture online. She's just there. <laughs> more, more than disinterested. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so, Vanya, what do you say about that? Have you ever been bored uh, I I having sex? Because no. certainly I have. I have been bored. <laughs> no, I, I would not have sex if I, if with that person, if, if I know I would get bored. No, 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 no. You're not expecting it. They're not saying that you, you, you know, it's a routine thing. It's just that it happens and you are just but not in tune, but the person is still going without realizing that you're not in tune. No, I, I have not experienced that, uh, like where I got bored. <laughs> um, you know, it's like as women, you tend to get sore a lot faster than 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 men. Mm -hmm. You know, so um, 
that may have happened that I feel like okay I'm a little sore <laughs> but no I have not I have not experienced boredom like can you just finish it off now yes can I, you just stop now please done <laughs> okay um, all right here's another one um you were close to my having an orgasm how 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 would that hit a man Dax from a male point of view if a woman says that how would you uh, feel as a guy? Well, I, 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 I'd be, you know, I, I could empathize with her. Mm -hmm. and I'd be sorry that she didn't get there, but unfortunately, what can you do? Oh. If, 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 no. My goal as a man mm -hmm. is to actually get her there mm -hmm. rather than getting there. I, my, my goal is one, two. What First, she than me. Oh, well, you're an admirable guy. <laughs> and when you get older, what are you going to do? <laughs> well, I, that's why I do my yoga. <laughs> and I, and I, stay, I try and stay in shape. Okay. Because <laughs> you do know that they say that, well, the whole ED thing, I mean, you know about that. A lot of men, when they get older, they tend to not be able to wait until their partner gets there because they are... I guess whatever erectile dysfunction does for you makes you anxious. So, I, I don't know if that, I mean, erectile dysfunction doesn't mean it don't work. It don't, it don't, you don't, you can't get the erection. Okay. Just, yeah. Okay. All right. And um, here's another thought. But all of those things, mm -hmm. all of those things, I believe, has to do with the body being in its optimum state of wellness. And I really sincerely believe, I'm not trying to sell anything, mm -hmm. that keeping your body clean, not just bathing, but keeping the, the, the toxins out of your body, mm -hmm. definitely helps you to manage all of that. Okay, all righty. Um, we never just talk anymore. Because I guess what it is, the way they explained it is that the guy, in order, wanting to do have sex, but the woman simply wants to just talk. And, 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 and I, that happens. It's very easy to get bored or to fall into a routine. Mm -hmm. You know, she's busy going to work. We, we're actually, I believe, Vanya and I are blessed in that we work together. Yep. It has its challenges because obviously, you know, with the stress of the work comes home with us. Mm -hmm. But, I think, I'm speaking for myself, I think that she loves her work and I love my work and we end up working together, we pay attention to each other mm -hmm. and, and, and we get to talk, but we have to be careful that we do make time for each other. For example, tonight, tonight the baby isn't here and we were saying, alright, what we're going to do, but we're going to do the show, then after this we're going to go spend some time, I don't know what we're going to do, it's not a beautiful night i would love to go riding but it's yeah rainy. it's kind of rainy but it's an effort you have to make the time to, to you know i i saw something where you need to schedule it in it need to be as important as any business meeting or any client conference it has to be put in its right perspective and you have to make the time to to, to share with each other okay so on that note i want to ask you do you think that men like routines men love routines really yes. wow do you know that's shocking for me because i hate routines <laughs> and, and that, that, my, men like routine because it's simple you know we we'll, ah. we'll wear the same clothes go the same road drive the same car eat the same food it's, it's simple wow that's vanya um, you like routines no, I don't, and that's that's. But I accept the fact that men like routine. So wow. I always am um, um, the one that is coming up with. Let's do this. I mean, I got Dax to spend a night in a in a in a camp, like uh, in a little real tiki hut <laughs> with no light, no power, no water. Wow, so, you did. No, I don't think you could get me to do that. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, we as a woman, as women, we have to kind of accept that, and um, I, you know, keep coming up with the. I rather than say you, how come you never decide? How come you never plan? Why is it me always planning? Exactly. Uh, you know, just if you accept men love routine, 
um and always come up now if you're coming up with ideas and the and the partner you are with they sh- they keep uh, like um shooting you down to say no 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 i, I can't go i no i don't want to go anywhere right. then that is a problem for me i i would not i would be very i wouldn't like it you know i can understand that i come up with uh you know in a week two or three three or four times to, to, with something to do and once or twice you say yeah but i'm kind of tired mm-hmm. but if every time i'm coming up with something most times you're like no nah, i'm not up to it then something is not right you have to fix that problem well do you know that when i saw this question i thought i wrote the question down and i thought to myself i'm going to ask the question but i don't like routine so i wonder how a lot of other women feel about guys really liking routines the ball well, is the sooner you accept that men love routine the sooner you can fix the problem by taking charge of the situation and coming up with i like things to do and you know you'll be surprised when you do that you'll find out if you're with the right person or not because if you're always coming up with let's take a trip here or let's do something here obviously you can like keep over extending your budget because men also are a little more budget conscious sometimes mm-hmm. when it, especially if it is something that's going to disturb their routine mm-hmm. they're going to be more budget conscious they're going to be like oh but we can't afford it you know wow i am <laughs> shocked i'm seriously <laughs> shocked i did yeah, not know that thing. guys yeah, like routine we're all all living creatures if you we all love our comfort zone if mm-hmm. if anything we have to do outside of our comfort zone uh we will find excuses not to do it or we will do it because we love the person or whatever reason that is causing us to go out of it more than ourselves or more than our comfort zone wow so a lot of times women may feel oh but every time i tell him he's gonna say oh, but we can afford a vacation mm-hmm. but yeah still um he will go find time to buy whatever he likes right. you know yeah. so uh, that is a very sensitive issue to me you know personally like i've been through that situation right um, where let, let, let me let me jump in here and say this okay i think the biggest mistake that people make mm-hmm. is is trying to please the other person in a relationship right the the, the sooner you get into the relationship and you say this is me this is how i am mm-hmm. and allow that person to either decide i like you i want you or you know what i can't deal with you <laughs> is 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 the best best thing you can do for yourself you don't want to be in a relationship as you know if, if you have a job and you say well i have to perform a certain way because that's my job then then that that may be somewhat acceptable yes. but if you have a, a relationship on your home and you have to go home and pretend mm-hmm. then then you have a big problem so to me understanding each other is the is the most important thing and the only way you can understand each other is to have honest open conversation amen to that bo so we now learn that men like routines that one is shocking for me because i really i thought you know everybody likes to flavor it up what about so so sex is routine too no oh. mean, root, routine in terms of meaning well, that you have to have it okay you have it on weekends because he's too tired during the week or um he, he goes to bed too early or in the mornings you're not you know you're too focused on all the other things that you have to do and you know that kind of stuff no i, I routine means i i like to know where things are no it don't mean that when i'm eating a meal i have to put this the, 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 the same exact way mm-hmm. it just means that i don't like surprises i don't like things to be what you know, <laughs> You don't like uh, surprises? Oh my God! <laughs> no, I, 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 no surprise birthday party. No surprise, you know. Um. <laughs> okay, what did you do, Dax? It's good now. It's good. It's good. It's good. No problem. <laughs> yeah. So you don't like a surprise birthday party? No. Nah. Do you think most men are like that though? I I don't know. Okay. Wow. But wait, where are the men calling in? No, but. You don't know men to call in. I well, you know, I don't know. I I can't have I I just don't have luck with guys. I mean, the women will call and they don't want to call tonight because I try to tell them it's men's night. But women, if you want to call, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, man. But but I just say I I I'm, I'm inviting anybody who has a difference of opinion to share theirs because mm-hmm. for me, I like routine. I'm not 
I, I, it's not that I'm unable to be spontaneous. Right. I mean, I can, you know, go with the flow. Mm -hmm. But it, it, it's not my nature. It's, it's a, it requires an effort for me to say, okay, let me try and come up with something that's out of the other. No, I tell you what. Spring a, spring a problem on me, and I'm, I'm at my best. I, I'm a great solutions person. So it's a surprise, mm -hmm. but, but don't surprise me. If something happened that is out of the uh, norm, then I can deal with it. Right. But it's, it's, if it's you going out of your way to, to surprise me or to, to, to no, I, I don't, I'm not. I'm not excited about that. Wow. Oh, my goodness. That's no, so I'm interesting. With some certain clothes on or something, and that's a surprise. Then I, I, that's good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. No surprises for Dax. Okay. I just want to throw the question out there then. Women, did you know that men just like routine and things to be easy? I really didn't. And I am actually disappointed that they do. <laughs> Seriously. Now hold on a second. It, 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 what about Lloyd? Is he is, is your husband? Oh yes, he he comes up with things, you know, like let's go here, let's go there, you know, kind of thing. But I I find as older, then you know it, it's not as much. And I think, well, with my daughter, she likes to. She, she she just don't like to keep quiet. She likes to like be going someplace, you know, doing things kind of thing. So she keeps us busy with that. But he used to, in his younger days, I, he was always very spontaneous. Where am I hearing myself back here? When, when you hit the thing just now, I think you hit something wrong. <laughs> How is it now? Yeah, that's better. Better, slightly better. But I'm still getting a feedback in on my end. I don't know why. Let's try to adjust some buttons here. But let's continue. Seriously, I'm really shocked at this, you know, that men like you like routines. I, I'm just, I'm stunned. <laughs> you, you know, I, I'm let, seriously let, stunned. <laughs> let's, let's go a little deeper into what, what I mean. Okay, please do, because I'm stunned. <laughs> okay, so when I say routine, I mean... If we plan a road trip, if we say we're going somewhere, mm -hmm. you don't have, I don't have to plan every stop along the way and be completely stuck with, no, we got to do this or we got... I can go with the flow. We can be on a trip and we come across a zoo and we stop at the zoo. Mm -hmm. Totally unplanned. The zoo was just along the way. So, you know, I can be spontaneous, but in terms of my general comfort zone, mm -hmm. I'm really, I really like, you know... My, being in a in a steady pace but when i plan to go outside my comfort zone then i can all all i can go crazy you know okay all right um let's see men do not heal from emotional wounds as well as women do you agree i agree that subconsciously men have less room to 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 deal with their emotional problems so like me personally, you know, I, I know after my separation, there was a lot of stuff that I didn't have anybody to talk to. I mean, mm. you know, there, there was no, you know, you can't go talk about how you feel. and you, 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 But you, you should be able to, don't, don't you think? You, you should be. And, and, and I, my advice to any man is to spend some time with yourself Mm -hmm. understanding how you felt how you feel and address those feelings i don't i am not big on going to see the psychiatrist or the therapist or all of that stuff no 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 psychiatrist and no psychologist for dogs okay we understand that all right so how about ultimatums do you think you know a lot of women like to say well if you don't marry me by so and so i'm gone or you know, blah blah blah. What <laughs> about your business then? <laughs> so I, I, I <laughs> said to you, we're in this together. If, if I'm at a certain place where I'm unable to 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 feel comfortable enough to, you know, make that that move, mm -hmm. then I I invite you to have the conversation and say, hey, honey, 
what's happening? I, I, I'm not sure w w where the problem is. Mm -hmm. And then I can share with you what my concerns are. You can help me to put those concerns to rest. And right. then we can go forward and we can plan a date. So I am not at all opposed to having the discussion. Mm -hmm. But to me, an ultimatum is saying, I don't care about your <laughs> feelings. I don't care about your position. I have my demands, and you better meet them. And that's absolutely not what I'm... I'm in a relationship. It's two people. We need to be able to have the conversation, to engage and respect each other's position. And I definitely want to understand why she feels that the, a time frame is, is there. But that's completely different from you better. You have to. Okay. okay. All right, I got it. Okay, should couples barter for bedroom time? You know, like some women will say, oh, if you give me this, I give you some sex. Or, oh, you, you, it happens. You see it even on television. Yeah, well, we, 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 I am so lucky to have a relationship where Vanya told me herself, I don't believe that women should use sex as a, as a, a, as a, as a, as a weapon. Okay, wonderful. And, and I, I, I think it's one of the healthiest things to mm -hmm. have in a relationship. It well, you, do, you do know, though, that women do do that. Absolutely. I oh, don't think okay. it's a big mistake they could ever make. Okay. All right. Okay, Vanya, you wanted to say something? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I don't understand that concept of using sex um, to get what you want. It, I just, it just seems very, very, very low and shallow to me. Mm -hmm. Even if you're doing it with your partner. I you agree. Know, Sex is something that is mutually enjoyed, appreciated. Um, you know, it, sex is love mm -hmm. to, to me if you're with the right person. So using that to get what you want, then what's the difference between you and a professional? Well, you know, that, that's my question too. <laughs> so, I, I and it and I've spoken to several women and uh, you know in different talks and everybody's like. They would say it. Well, he's well. We're not gonna do it then because that's that's not right. I'm I'm. He was mean to me or, or whatever. His mom is here, so guess what? No, we're not gonna be having sex. True. So I just like don't understand that concept. But you know, it, it, women are watching the show too. So be your own judge because I believe that by having sex you can get more done. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, ladies, you heard that. You, if you have, if you ha the more sex you have, the more things you're gonna get. <laughs> so you don't have to be martyr for it. That's true. <laughs> you know, I, there, there, there's That's something funny. I want to kind of shift the conversation to. Um, I, I've been observing it in these TV commercials, and mm -hmm. I actually came across a blog on Blog Talk Radio today. Uh -huh. it's, it, it's talking about the, the emasculation of men. Mm. And there are a lot of these commercials where the dad is 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 shown as a stupid guy. Or, yes, yes. You know, very, very demeaning. And for derogatory, the, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's supposed to be cute and funny, you but know. But it's not. I really don't think it is. It's yeah, not. Yeah. Even kids' shows, like, you know, I watch a lot of cartoons with my son, mm -hmm. and it's amazing how the dad uh, character in, the, in those cartoons is always so dumb and stupid and doing things that are so wrong. You know, what, mm -hmm. whatever happened to father figure, like person that shows you the way, that, that tells you what to do, but right. men are, and fathers are such an important part of the society, but... It's amazing how, and I don't understand why. What's the reason for that? Me neither. Well, I, I don't know. I don't. I still don't understand why everything they're selling on television, including gelato, has to be sexual. I just don't get it. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> okay. What about makeup sex? Since we're on that that path, we're going to continue there. Makeup sex is it something women thinks that it's exciting? So you know, okay, I'm going to try to do this by you know, enticing him to make up because I know I did something wrong over there, so this is my way of paying for it. Dax is smiling. <laughs> and I don't you know, know why. Why are you smiling, Dax? <laughs> I'm waiting for money. Oh, you wait. <laughs> That's not fair. Because, you know, 
to me the I, i don't look at it as makeup sex i just look at it as um like something bad happened and mm-hmm. we need to restore the connection and what better way to do it than have sex um okay other than say oh that happened let me have sex with him so he'll be fine and everything will be okay but unfortunately dax has at several occasions interpreted that as that's what i'm intending to do that's <laughs> what <laughs> He gets very upset. Uh, uh, I don't know how other men feel about it, if they, but that can only speak for him. And he would say, "I'm not a boy. I'm not a kid that you can amuse with that, and and everything will be fine." Okay. And I just looked at him in shock, like, "What are you talking about?" <laughs> so that's why the smile. Okay. All right. Okay. Dax, your turn. <laughs> speak. <laughs> I I I think Vanya said it clearly. Um, okay. And, and w- w- let me just say this: it's it's that in for me there, there are times when women mm-hmm. and 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 I and I and I and I say this in general because uh-huh. it is it is my experience in general. Okay. That women sometimes overreact, get very emotional about something. and then when they calm down and they realize that they really went a little bit too far mm-hmm. then they're they're sorry about what they did so it is in that scenario that that when the the sex offer is made it it kind of says well so you're not recognizing and 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 you know acknowledging the bad behavior you just think that sex can will cover that right okay. which is not necessarily true is just the assumption mm-hmm. that i make and i just want to make sure we clear that i'm happy for the sex but you still were were out of you, you still did. did something bad <laughs> <laughs> okay my special guest inside of the Diana okay. White show tonight at 8 o'clock tonight, hour. No, huh? huh huh okay not creating any problems for me tonight <laughs> <No>. <laughs> i hope not no why it doesn't look the type <laughs> I know the types that will do that. You know there are some women who they have a fight with their husband and they don't cook, they don't wash any clothes, they don't clean the house and I'm going, what the hell does that have to do with anything? You live there too. <laughs> exactly. So what's the yeah, point? She's not, she's not. She's not. She's not. I'm just teasing. Right. So you're, you know, a, but a lot of women I know are like that. They will not clean. I have a friend in Atlanta who told me and her husband is a surgeon, okay? He ain't no chicken. He is a surgeon and she said that one time they were um you know living together there and before the kids came and he thought that because he was going to be a surgeon he should not do anything around the house so what did she do she said she left all the dishes in the sink dirty dishes for days and did not wash them and said okay you want your surgeon and I'm not so there you go yeah. and she didn't clean the house or do anything and I thought but that would make me uncomfortable <laughs> how do I do yeah. that she said okay uh, and I think I think sometimes you know especially when you're younger mm-hmm. you lock yourself into these positions of this is right and that's wrong and I I I can I can I can I, 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 I I'm aware of that mm-hmm. but Uh, there's nothing there's nothing in my look i am a man at the end of the day i'm a man i am not i can I, i make no apologies for that but right. what exactly does that mean and how do i define that mm-hmm. it, it's from day to day as we go through the day you know i i i realize this is my position and i i, I will share it i will discuss it and there are certain things that you know i i'm, I'm going to hold 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 strong on but very few things okay all right my special guest inside of the Diana Wright show live this evening at the 8 o'clock hour is Vanya and Dax and we're talking and giving men a chance to speak but the men just seem to be so shy i think i'm going to have to like set up some guys to call but i don't like to do that i like men to be able to say okay this is what i want to say and i'm just going to be brave enough to say it And women if you want to you know chime in on the conversation you can do so too 5612281921 that's 5612281921 and is sex better on vacation when people are more relaxed and 
you know, you don't have to think about going to work tomorrow, or or is that just kind of not so Sex is always good. <laughs> sex, is, sex is always good. Okay. Is quality sex better than quantity of sex? Because a lot of people, you know, are boasting now, oh, we have sex six times a week, or five times a week, or four times a week, or this guy, I, I've heard guys say, oh, we only have it like twice a year. I'm going, what? <laughs> On some of those housewife shows, the men say the craziest things. You know, I've heard a guy, I think it was on Orange County, says, what are you talking about? One, uh, I don't know what she looks like for twice a year. <laughs> you know, I, I, I realized at some point that, that we are probably a little more sexual than, than a lot of other couples. Mm -hmm. And, you know... That's just the way it is. Uh, in terms of, I, again, I, I do think it's, if you take anything in your life for granted, mm -hmm. then obviously you, you're going you, you, you're gonna to lose it. So I think life is really about, for me, life is really about identifying what is important mm -hmm. and and putting those things that are important in place, investing the time and energy to pay attention to those things, give it its priority, right. and hope that I'm actually moving in the right direction, you know? Okay. Um, have you ever been in a position as a man to do baby-making sex? You know, you're just really having sex just to make a baby? My, my my son was born, I uh, was was conceived with that absolute intention. I wow. Had no when I saw that, I wasn't sure because I thought, oh, so I guess, yes, and I see it a lot on television where, you know, like they have this new show called First Year of Marriage or something like that, and the women seem to be obsessed with making a baby. And I'm thinking, why not try to do it naturally and let it come? You know, what, what what's this pressure? But wouldn't that put a lot of pressure on the guy in himself? I, I, I don't. I, I cannot relate. Uh, my my. Uh, it, 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 I, <laughs> okay, now we can pass on that one. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm saying that I am. I am more. I, I don't have any problems in delivering. Okay, no, not that you have problems delivering. It's just that. Should people be really just having sex to make a baby? And I'm saying if, if they have the priority and then they've been hoping it would happen naturally and then six months have passed, then they become more anxious and it becomes more urgent and they now make, start to look into all the things that can improve. So then they start talking about different times of the month based on ovulation, right. different positions as far as, you know, it... it things getting to where they should get to um, and, and, and different things you can drink, eat and take in order to improve all of those things so I think it's a process, you don't get there overnight mm -hmm. and, and for me fortunately at the times when, when it was required to happen, it happened that right on schedule okay, lucky brother All right. Um, do I look like I've gained some weight? Is that a, an appropriate question for women to ask their guys? You know, you can ask a question and <laughs> you can decide if you want an honest answer, you need to let him know. So if you just ask the question, the, 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 the fat answer is absolutely not. You're looking wonderful. <laughs> that, you mean that's a hypocritical question, answer? No, that, that's not the hypocritical. That's a stay safe answer. Okay, so uh, guys, if your if your if your wife or your girlfriend asks you if they're gained weight, please don't say yes because uh, a lot of times I've seen men get clubbered for that. <laughs> but, but but if you really want to know and you have that kind of relationship, then you can say, as a friend, oh. you tell, have I gained? Do I need to 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 to, to lose some weight? Mm -hmm. And then you know you'll give a very diplomatic answer like no man you're good <laughs> doing whatever you're doing oh my god that's <laughs> funny that. there is no way around it women will never take it kindly exactly I, right back then, I, I, I used to have a friend and 
his wife is very overweight and and at the same time she's very conscious mm-hmm. she asks him every day <laughs> and then he says um uh, if he says yes he he's in trouble if he says no he's in trouble so one time i remember he told me that they went shopping <laughs> and she said um you know i can't fit into any clothes i don't know which store to go to i can't buy clothes uh, do you think i put on weight and he says Why don't you go to Ann Taylor? Oh. And he got it so much trouble. <laughs> Ann Taylor, Ann Taylor. That means you think I'm overweight? Overweight women go over there. So he was. No, 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 no. I just meant that they have your style. And this, this woman did not talk to him, and obviously withdrew sex. Wow. Uh, and you know he came and cried on my shoulder about it. So yeah, but that's so weird though because Ann Taylor. I don't think Ann Taylor sells things for fat people. Let, let me tell you it is amazing the things we as women have allowed ourselves to get overly sensitive for mm-hmm. it is amazing it is self destructive and the, it it leads to a very miserable relationship mm-hmm. it passes on to your kids yes. you know but it's like i am so glad and i thank god that that god has given me the awareness to be on the other side sometimes and and see like ann taylor is ann taylor but this one person <laughs> has associated ann taylor to being overweight the problem is not ann taylor the problem is <laughs> she's overweight and she has wrong eating habits yes she wants him to she ask him now if he says no you're good oh well you are only lying to me you should be the first one to tell me the truth right so he says oh well, maybe you can go to the gym gym what do you mean i can go to the gym so are you saying i'm over <laughs> Can you imagine the plight of a man like like that? But yes. but you know I I but I guess that they they're still together. Uh, I'm just not friends with them. I couldn't take it anymore. Okay. I, oh I, my. Not, <laughs> honest, couldn't. I could not take it anymore. It seems so ridiculous to me. Mm-hmm. More like how he was responding to what she was doing. Right. Yeah. I I just couldn't take it anymore. My goodness. Okay, Dax. Here's here's one for Dax now. You know. <laughs> you know, Diana. Yes. I, I, Honestly, believe that there is room mm-hmm. for a, a, a new, a renaissance in terms of male identity. That I feel that there is, there is, there is a gap. There is so many men that grew up without a father, mm-hmm. and there are so many negative associations about men and their selfishness and their. their their inconsiderate nature and all of these things mm-hmm. and then there's the complete opposite of the superman extremely macho totally you know ruthless strong man mm-hmm. that we really need to sit down as men and women mm-hmm. and define what we really would like to to see as the virtues of being a man because We, we we we're not going out and hunting and and killing the dragons we're not going out and you know fight it well we fight in wars but even the war thing is is not as as attractive as it was before you know right exactly not making any money this time <laughs> for, for for most yeah. people i should say yeah okay all right tell me i'm pretty how does that make make a man feel when a woman asks request that of him Well, I, I think she would she would might be a little bit insecure, but you know, here's the thing: mm-hmm. if she has to ask, right. then maybe he's not doing in, paying enough attention to give her a compliment to let the, the, let her know he appreciates her. Mm-hmm. You know, because all women want to be considered to be pretty, and 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 you know, for me, I, I, I but can't. But what, what if she's not pretty? Not everybody well, is pretty. Yeah, yeah. That, that's a sad state of affairs because, you know, I really find Vanya very attractive, mm-hmm. and I, I, I'm, I'm constantly telling her she don't even have to ask. She can look at my face and mm-hmm. she can know that that I appreciate her looks and 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 everything else about her. Okay, yeah, because you do know that a lot of men marry women for different things. It's not always because. they are beautiful or whatever sometimes people are just nice people they don't have to be you know looking like a beauty queen but they get a husband anyway right so 
what happens if you are having sex and a woman says, or you're trying to do so, and someone says, a female says to you, I need to pee. What's your response no, as a guy? Are you mad right about it? Stop right there and let's go, let her go pee, of course. And you would not be annoyed? Absolutely not. Okay. Absolutely not. Because, you know, some men do get annoyed about this. This was a discussion. Okay. So. Why? why? I don't know why. They just get annoyed because they think, I believe that they think that the person is avoiding the having sex. So they use that as a break of the, 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 the build up to get there. So if I say I want to go pee, then by the time I come back, you know, he might not want to do that again kind of thing. I mean, let me say this to you. There are lots of married people who are living in two different rooms and things look wonderful on the outside. It's just like I was watching, I was not watching, but reading something about the Kardashians and Bruce Jenner and his wife now live in two different houses in two different cities in L.A. And Chloe is saying, well, you know, in my house... Um, Lamar has his own space and I guess they just took it a little too far and I thought to myself what are we having a new kind of thing going on and I know lots of people who tell me oh well actually they had a whole special the other day where women say look I'm sleeping in the next room because he snores and I can't take it anymore and he comes and visits me and I'm going is that marriage or what is that <laughs> Seriously, how are guys interpreting or getting to this state that this happens? Well, I, I would I would start off with the, the whole idea that there is this two types of the, the, in our society in mm -hmm. America across the board. I believe mm -hmm. there is this politically correctness. There is this idea of what it should look like mm -hmm. and there's the idea of what it really is and and for me i defend the one life that dax done is dax done at home mm -hmm. at work at play in my family with with my friends with 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 total strangers i am the same person and you know vanya to me is the same person and that's that you either like it or you don't like it but i can't be anything but me exactly because even today with uh, putin um the president of russia announcing that he's getting a divorce and everybody's jumping on it now they're saying oh well you know the gossip has been for years that they really weren't together and one guy even said well i'm not so sure they're not even divorced already <laughs> and because putin had said that you know you should not let your your personal business be out there like the Americans you know the way they talk about other people's lives and blah 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 and then they said okay well we've also heard that he had several affairs over the years and you know I guess they can't take it anymore after 33 years they just have to just let it come out in the public and I thought to myself this is absolutely insane why is it that people are so pretentious if you are basically I think if you have a relationship and it's not working then you know, if you can't make it work, then people should go their separate ways. That's just how I see it anyway. Absolutely. As simple as that. Yeah. It's just, for me, it's just simple. You know, it's not working. Anyway, this is one that guys say really stunned them. When a woman says, can you do that thing I like? And he goes, what is that thing? But he can't let her know that he doesn't remember what the thing is. So he goes into a questionnaire thing, like he comes up with things, you know, arbitrarily to let her feel like he remembered what she really liked. Have you ever had something like that happen to you as a guy? No, because I just said, Tell, remind me, please. <laughs> You're just right on the open, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, I, I don't know. read minds. I don't see any point in reading minds i believe that we are both intelligent articulate people we can say what's on our mind mm -hmm. you know I, I i can as i said i don't I, it is not cut and dry i mean i can you know anticipate mm -hmm. i can plan ahead mm -hmm. but if you tell me you want something and 
I'll, 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 I'll go as far as to make maybe two or three guesses, but after the third guess... That's it. Help me out. <laughs> I'm <laughs> done. Help me out, my sister. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. I want to read you some uh, myths about relationships, and I want to hear how you feel about these. All right? Okay. If you are really in love, you will just know what the other person needs. Foolishness. Okay. <laughs> Why did I know you were going to respond that way? <laughs> and that's funny because what you do is exactly opposite of that. What do you mean? Most times you know. Okay. All right. There. Here you go now. I if mean, it's natural. I don't. I we don't. Ex I don't expect that. But uh, I'm. I am shocked constantly to what I'm thinking, and then I come home, and he would say, "That's what you were thinking," or "Is that what you want to do?" Really. And it, it's it's it is crazy. I can't even explain to you how crazy it is. So, but that uh, that simply means that you guys are in sync. I would say that. So it's not so unreasonable if you really love somebody and you're in sync, mm -hmm. and especially if you pay attention to that, you'll find the little moments, little little things that you can stop paying attention to that. So let's accept that that if, I, if we love each other, we are in sync. And just saying the same word at the same time or picking the same thing at the same time, pay attention to those moments and um, you, you, it just, you, you, the whole day you, you, you go by more in love with each other. Okay. I, I wouldn't dismiss it just like that. Well, let, let, me, let me actually clarify because what I heard from the question was that she says, you should know. So if Vanya comes home and says to me, so what do I want to do now? <laughs> then, then my answer to her is, I don't know. Okay. But if she comes home and I'll say, why we don't go do X, Y, Z? And then she'll say, oh my God, I can't believe it. That's exactly what I was hoping we'd do. Mm -hmm. That's a completely, it's two different things. So yeah. if, if one is that, He's expected to do these things and know these things. I reject that. Right. But if it's about two people just being in sync, then right. yes, absolutely, I embrace that. Okay, all right. If you are in a good marriage, you won't have to work at it. Now, I, that one I think is crazy. That's just my opinion. Because <laughs> I think... I'll let one of the first this time. You have to work on relationships, period. That's me. You, it's a, you have to work just like you have to work on everything. You get up every day and, and you do, the, don't you brush your teeth daily? You work exactly. on yourself. So work on it doesn't have, have to be like, okay, what can I compromise today? Work on it could be, you know, we had that little argument. Let's, what can I do that, you know, that doesn't spoil the whole day. Mm -hmm. uh, but I believe constantly working on it makes it better, closer, you know, it, it's not easy to find the right person these days. Oh. There's so much on mm -hmm. and more and more of us are not finding our own selves to be clear to, to then go out and say, this is who I am, so this is what I should be going for, you know. Mm -hmm. So we're more confused about what we really want, more and more of us because of the environment we're living in. So if you do have that significant other that you feel, wow, this is, this is great, Definitely work on it daily. Well, why not? It's an investment. <laughs> okay, Dax, it's an investment, Mr. Businessman. Okay, the next myth. A baby will make your marriage or your relationship stronger. No, I don't agree with that. I don't either. Dax, no. from a male point of view, what do you think? No, I mean, no. If, if you're, if, if, look, stronger in what way? If, if, well, it just if, said stronger. They didn't kind of clarify, but I just, for me, without even any clarification, I just, my answer was just no. Just like Vanya. So, so here's the thing. Mm -hmm. If you're in a situation where the, the, the relationship is all for sure, mm -hmm. and, and you feel like, you know what, she's ready to leave or looking at her options and stuff, then that, that man mm -hmm. could feel that if I got her pregnant, the insecurity, the needing to take care of the baby, the wanting the baby to have a father and all of these things could cause her to want to stay and, and, and try to work on the relationship. Oh. I, I, I agree with both of you 
Mm -hmm. that's, a, that's a terrible mistake, and it's just going to create a, an, a horrible situation for the child to come into. So I, I would agree with both of you, only to just say, but some insecurities may, may the logic of insecurity could lead to it, but I definitely think it would be a mistake. Okay, you need to have a set date night. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay, all right, okay. Yes to that one. Half of marriage, <laughs> half of marriages end in divorce. 41% in 1980 of, uh, uh, ended in divorce. What are your thoughts about that? Do you think that's a true thing or is it really not so? Is that a myth or not? I think that's true. Okay. All right, marriages mean happily ever after. No fighting allowed. <laughs> that one is a big lie. <laughs> uh, absolutely. And I, and, and I think that, that we must recognize the nature of humans, that we are insatiable creatures, that there is nothing, that no circumstances that completely satisfy us. We always... I don't want more mm -hmm. or different or change or it, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a constant mm -hmm. process and if you can engage it in an intelligent way to work through it, that's the healthiest way you can approach your life. Okay. Never go to bed angry, another myth. A good idea. It's a, something, something, definitely something worth you know trying to, 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 accomplish. to, to, to accomplish. Yeah. Okay. All right. I agree with that one. Because I, I, if, 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 if I'm mad, I can't sleep, so <laughs> I'd rather settle the problem before so I can get some sleep. Because I'll be up tossing, thinking about the problem and figuring, okay, how am I going to solve this or sort this out or, you know, why am I so mad or anything of that nature. Okay, the couple that plays together stays together. You know, you've heard that. Oh, yeah. Plays together, meaning, you know, have fun, do things, not just, you know, boring routine life. Well, I, I'm afraid of the word routine now because Doc says men like routine, so I'm a little scared of the word now. So, you know, I, I, I have observed relationships where the, the, each of them have their own set of friends mm -hmm. and they have their own interests and things that they do and it works for them and... God bless them. Mm -hmm. You know, I I happen to really like Vanya's company. So, you know, whatever I'm doing, I, I, I'd, I'd like her. I enjoy her being there. But, absolutely, I'm not joined at the hip. I'm totally able to have her go do whatever she needs to do. And I go do what I need to do. Mm -hmm. But when she's there, it actually makes it nicer. So I enjoy her company. But I'm... But I'm I'm quite happy to be alone. I have no problem with my own company. Okay, wonderful, because I do like my own company too. Anyway, um, one final thing. I want to ask you a question, and don't, don't, don't be laughing about it. On Tuesday, when we had Dr. Melanie Simpson on, someone called in and said, are we, and asked the doctor if it's true that the depth of a vagina is seven inches. Did you know that? Um, you I, didn't. I, it, it varies. I don't... There's no, <laughs> no, 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 no. I did not say the width, Dax. I said the depth. I think it varies. You think so? Well, the doctor said it's about... That is about so. And I, okay. I really did not know. I never even thought about it before the, no, the, the, the lady no. called. The lady called in and asked that question. And I thought, whoa, I never even thought about that. Vanya, have you ever even thought about that as a female? No, but I've, I've, I've known it. Oh, you've known it. Okay, well, I've never really thought about it or anything. And I was just, I figured I'll end the show with <laughs> that tonight when I talk to Dax. <laughs> so for all the shy men who are out there who are wondering, that's approximately the depth of a JJ. I, 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 I don't know. No, why is how how do you use that information? No, we were talking about um, how that came into the conversation. Is that we were talking about the fact that a lot of women were complaining that when they have sex, it's painful because the man might be so large, 
and the woman is very small. That's talking about the width now, okay? And the doctor was also explaining about the depth. And then a, someone called in and said, did you know or is it true that the depth is seven inches? And the doctor said, yes, that's about correct if for an average, right? So if a woman is having sex with someone who, because she was explaining the way that the penis actually gets longer when it's erect and some men bend and all that. So if he is so long and she is short, then she's going to have pain. She was just trying to explain. Fanya <laughs> is going, okay, then. <laughs> she was just explaining how it can happen where a woman will have pain during sexual intercourse. So hence, sure. that's how the question came up from the caller. I, I, I'm going to check it out later. Oh, oh my God, God Doc, you're terrible. He's going to check it out. Okay, final thoughts of both of you before we go, because I know you want to go hang out and do something special. You first. Oh, I mean, I, I will stick, still go back to the point of work on it. If you have that person that you've met or you've spent considerable amount of time with, please put some work into it. It is so, so worth it. I can tell you from my personal experience, there were times and relationships I had I did not put the work in. Mm -hmm. And I am in a relationship that I am putting the work in and I take full blame for that that I didn't and now I am it's it's like night and day it is so worth it you can save so much you, you can save so much hassle mm -hmm. and can gain so much by just putting daily work on it, it it's so and important when you say work on it Vanya give, give me an idea of what do you mean by that in general you know, just a general just, just little things about about caring about each other you, you know you, you okay let's say you get up and and you're gonna have a you I'll give you a simple I don't know but like you get up you you fill up a, your water bottle you're drinking your water mm -hmm. fill one up with for your partner just say hey, do you want some you know mm -hmm. um, just like just small little daily things um, you know if you know you're gonna be out um, and if you if you don't work together Around lunchtime, just a quick text message. Uh, did you eat, did you get to eat yet? What what are you eating? You mm -hmm. know, um, you know. Uh, around when you get home, you're you're unwinding. Just to say that, so just like a little comment, like you know, I just love relaxing with you. It is great. Just like uh, it's the little things that make the whole big re uh, the the relationship. It's not like you forgot to, or your mom was mean to me, or you did this or you did that and mm -hmm. we just, that takes over so many days but during that whole time he or she could be doing something that we've completely ignored right. you know okay i got it you that? and the dishes are done just go give him a hug don't even say why just give him a hug you okay. know all right I, i'll go hug when i'm finished <laughs> <laughs> And I you tell know, you what, if I tell if I tell him that you're the one who said it, he love you for it too. <laughs> you know, I, I, I would tell you I, I think that part of the challenge, you know, to to really tie it in with what Vanya said in terms of working on it mm -hmm. is to work on yourself first. Mm -hmm. That we don't spend enough time to know what we need and what we do appreciate. So we, 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 we grew up with these, you know, he ha these these grand conditions. <laughs> if he does this and if he has that and all of these great things that we need to really be happy. Mm -hmm. When the truth is, happiness is in a lot simpler way in terms of just acceptance, you know, um, you know, just being able to be clear about what is really important to you and, and why it's important to you and then being able to share that with somebody, it makes all the difference. Amen to that. And I simply believe that if you love yourself first, that love between you and someone else will be so much better. And just be honest and open. People, you know, I, I just think people pretend too much. <laughs> Seriously. Absolutely. Yeah, people Absolutely. just pretend too much, you know. I, you know, I, I'm, I'm comfortable, you know, in, in my thing. You read my book and see some of the processes and what when happened. But for me, it's always comfort. I know who I am. I don't need to have someone else loving me to love myself. So it's important for me to take care of me. 
and I take care of everybody else. Because, you know, my, my, my mom always says, oh, you have three children. <laughs> your daughter, your mother, and your husband. <laughs> so, you know, so I, I just wanted to share that. All right. Okay. Take care. And thank you so much for joining us. You. Always a pleasure. All Enjoy. right, and always a pleasure and a fun show when you guys are on. I so appreciate it. Take care. Take care. All right, and have fun tonight. Thank right. you. <laughs> okay. All right, that was Dax and Vanya joining us, and we so appreciate them, and we are happy that they were able to join us. So, well, you know, tomorrow morning again, we'll see you for the Diana Wright show at the ten thirty hour. And we hope that you will have a good evening. Whatever you and your partner plan to do, just have a good time. Take care of each other. And first of all, women, 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 please love who you are. Don't worry about someone else loving you first. You love yourself first and the rest will follow. It's so, 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 so crucial for you to love yourself. Don't forget April 30th every year is I Love Me Day. And we celebrated it for the first time this year. We're going to do it next year and we're going to do our best to get you on the crusade for loving you. Simple. And we want men to love themselves too, but women, I think, have a, a bigger issue about that. And may, it may not be so, but we're trying to get both men and women to love themselves and teach their children and their friends to love themselves also. If you love something, set it free. If it comes back, it's yours. If it doesn't, it was never yours. Don't forget, October 5 is the day that we give you the white party celebration. Yes, it's a white party celebration. And it's a fundraiser. And it's only going to cost you $30. It takes place in Palm Beach County. And it's courtesy of Save a Life Jamaica Foundation. If you can't make the party because you're in Europe and you're just too busy to come to Sunshine State, Florida, then we accept the donation anyway all right so keep those dates in mind and do join us tomorrow morning at 10 30 when we look at wow friday lots of big news this week to wow about so we'll do that in the morning thank you so much again for joining me and i say adios ciao and au revoir have a good night and be blessed and stay prayed up Hmm. <clears throat>